My name is Daniel Villarreal, I'm uh, the school principal here at Cesar Chavez Middle School and it's a privilege for me to serve in this capacity, uh, which I have been for 11 years, And uh, but what brings me uh, uh, the satisfaction and the, just the accomplishment is that one of our students, uh, Josiah Zapata, our 7th grade student, he uh, represented us at the State Fair competition and he received the top honors first place, uh, which is very, very difficult to do. And yet, uh, he not only did that, but he becomes the first uh, student from Cesar Chavez Middle School to be able to attain that uh, recognition. And so, we are truly delighted and, um, and thankful to him and his family for uh, the support that they provide him and the support that, uh, that is there for him here in the school setting as well as from the, uh, from the family. My name is Josiah Caleb Zapata and my project is titled I Fly and I won first place at the Science State Fair. And I, I can see that he has a lot of potential for, for greatness in himself as long as he has the good support which he does from his mother and his father and it's, it's a good thing to see that in, in someone so, so young. Through this project we saw Josiah's learning enhanced, we saw how um, a small idea uh, grew and developed into something very exciting and a really useful learning experience for him and even for, for the family. It's about the effect of the radiation. Over the years, the apple products are becoming more and more popular and I want to see if that would affect the offspring and reproduction of the fly. First, I had to order the flies, the wild type flies. And once they came in, I put them to sleep with the liquid substance. And then I sexed them, separating the males and the females into two different vials. And then after that, I got the iPad, the iPod, the MacBook Pro, and the iPhone on the FaceTime application. And then I put a vial of the each fruit fly on top of every device. And I had them on ongoing FaceTime for about a week once I saw that the larva was growing up and I checked the offspring for abnormalities and defects. And it was such a valuable learning experience for him because he had to determine uh, the sex of the fruit flies. He had to be very careful the way he handled his medium, the way he separated them. He had to continuously be going to the lab. A science fair projects, it's uh, so important for us because it underscores the fact that students have to use a scientific method. And they use that pretty much for any kind of scientific discovery. So our goal is to have as many kids participate in the science fair uh, project as possible. So it can reinforce the learning that takes place in the classroom. And at the same time, they get a chance to uh, present it to others at the district level, at the regional level, if they continue, and then from there at the state level. At the state competition, um Granted, he may have been a little nervous, but he was focused and he was calm. Mr. Marcus was very instrumental in, in uh, keeping the momentum going, and we told him, Josiah, be confident. This is your experiment. This is your baby. You've been working with it for weeks and weeks and weeks, and you know it well. I wanted to make sure he was calm and, and very uh, focused on what the task that he had to do. That's one of the key things, you gotta be relaxed because it's, it's new, you don't want to go, go in there nervous. And when I asked him how his interviews went, he said that the, the, the judges were there for about 15-20 minutes, which is a good sign because that means they were entertained by his subject and they weren't bored and he kept them captivated and it was another good sign that he was going to be, you know, one of the top finishers there. I was kind of nervous but I tried to stay focused and on topic and getting all the details and everything that I conduct in this experiment to the judges so they would understand my project better. It was nerve-wracking because they called up five students not in order and they said from fifth to first place and once I realized that I was in the top three, I started like shaking. Then my son tells me, mom, he's in third place and then third place is announced and second place and oh my goodness, I, I was just um, so, uh, it was such an emotional moment. And when they announced second, I knew I had gotten first and I felt proud and relieved. As a science teacher, it's one of the biggest moments for me. Uh, I've, done a, I've been here for four years as a science teacher at Chavez and there's a lot of big accomplishments that I've had, but this is probably one of the, the biggest ones to, to see it go from you know, this small, like abstract little 
idea to this grand you know, idea that he has that's behind me right now. It's, it's a good feeling. You know, for us, it's just a, a thrill to be able to see kids thrive and uh, be successful. I mean, it just speaks volumes of, of um, not only his, uh, what he can do and uh, the ideas that he can conjure up to, to uh, test them out and see if they're, um, what the outcomes would be. But at the same time, it paves the way for other kids to also want to do the same and hopefully uh, attain the ultimate goal there. Our family is very proud of Josiah for what he has accomplished. So we want to tell him that uh, we think the world of him and that we know he has a lot of potential to achieve great success. Well, I would like to thank my, te my science teacher, Mr. Garcia, and my parents and everyone for giving me support all the way to over there.